Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. <clears throat> Beautiful morning out here. A little bit on the still side, though. Not much of a breeze out here. 77 degrees. Expecting a high up in the 90s today. Heat index over 100. There's some thunder rumbling way out there in that big red cloud. Down in area one, the end of the boardwalk right now. Gorgeous up there. Look at that sky. Wow. It's a big thunderhead. Get a quick quick picture of that. Hang on one second. All right, I'm back here. Let's walk down the boardwalk and head out towards the beach. I see our park ranger up ahead of me checking something out. Maybe we had another sea turtle crawl. I don't know how many nests we're up to now. They're up there checking something out. Way up the beach there. And they're off. Well, it's awful quiet out here, very still. The golf golf is really calm this morning. Beautiful, those colors reflecting out there on the water. A little snowy egret there. Beautiful. Oh, isn't that neat? I'm gonna start walking up the beach. I don't know if there was any sea turtle crawls down at the south end there last night or how many nests we're up to on the beach. On Saturday, I saw 48 nests. We'll see if we got any more crawls. It's always a good sign. It's always good to see these nests up high on the dunes like this. That's where they'll stand their best chance of surviving the extra super high tide. This is nest number 10. And by George, that might have hatched there. Hopefully something didn't dig into there. Might have had a hatching there. That's number 10. You see that hole down there? Might have had a hatching. That'd be great. That darn barge is still here. It 
pulled it offshore though. You can see it way out there. I don't know why it's still here. Always amazes me when you see these nests side by side like this. That's something. Right next to each other. I think there was a hatching here too. There's a little hole down there. I don't know what number nest this is. It's gorgeous out here. Look at that sky, that big cloud. That's a thunderhead. There's rain in that there cloud. But it is beautiful, isn't it? Let me take another photo of it real quick. I'm back, sorry about that, just gorgeous. Remember, if we have a, a signal loss here during my morning walks, you can always watch the video, the replay on YouTube. It's usually a little better quality on YouTube. I'd love to see one of these nests hatch. Wouldn't that be neat to see the little hatchlings popping out? They call that emerging when they come out. It'd be so neat to see an emerging. It's gorgeous out here this morning. Nobody out here yet, except probably Roy. Maybe a couple fishermen. Up the beach, maybe up at Wiggins Pass. Check out that water, see what that water looks like this morning. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. 85 degrees. Ooh, it's like stepping into a bathtub here. Wow. Gorgeous. There goes a turn. That's a turn flying by. One of those royal turns that we saw in the video the other day on Saturday. All the turns sitting out on the little sandbar. I don't see any of those sandbars this morning. The tide's still on its way out.
I've got the place to myself tonight, today, this morning. It's really quiet. Ooh, hear the thunder in the background. I don't know if you could hear that. That's a big thunderstorm here out in the Gulf, that big cloud. Maybe we'll catch some lightning there. Let's hang on, take a look at it. We'll see a shot of lightning. I'm going to take another picture. That is just such an incredible looking cloud. Beautiful colors there. There comes a pelican flying through. Keep walking up the beach. I don't know. There's a little hole down there. Maybe we had a hatching there. That'd be nice. Still haven't seen any nests higher than number 48. That's 29 over there. out on the hard sand out here by the water. Just saw some fish jumping out here. Looked like a mullet. There's that barge. Still out there. I don't know if they're still pumping or not. It's pretty far out. That's number 40 there.
as the tide's getting lower and lower, you can see the waves starting to break on the sandbars out there. Well, it doesn't look like we had any crawls last night. Maybe when we get a little further north up here, we'll find some shells. That was our one of our first nests up here, nest number three. That I think that nest. I think that nest got destroyed by the high tides and heavy rains. That's sad. Beautiful as we look down to the south. Look at that. The colors are starting to fade out of that cloud now. When we started, it was a nice bright orange. Ooh, there's another big rumble of thunder. What nest was this up here? That was nest 33, okay. I haven't seen any little ghost crabs running around on the beach. Seen their holes. Here's the hole from a ghost crab. But I have not seen any ghost crabs running around lately. They're here. Well, last year we saw them all over the place. They're skittish little crabs. It's hard to get a picture of them. They hide in their holes. They get to their little den really fast and burrow in when they see you coming by. I think I see Roy way up there. Looks like he was running late. Looks like he's just walking up towards Wiggins Pass now. We'll see how our connection works today. Oh, here's another hole from a ghost crab. You can see there's a pretty fresh little hole here. All the sand they kick out over there. It's fun to watch them dig their little nest. I actually got a video, a couple times we got some video of that while I was standing up at Wiggins Pass with Roy. It was fun watching them dig. They used their little claw like a shovel. See that one nest way back up in there? That's pretty well protected too. That's a good place for that nest to be. Can you see it way up there? The white stakes. Well, from this point on, we don't have too many sea turtle nests on the beach. I'm guessing it's because of that darn dredging that was going on in that barge. This is where the barge was. 
with that big hose coming from a big pipe that was coming from Del Norwegian's Pass. So that probably scared off the sea turtles from coming up to the north end of the beach here. There's a couple nests, but not many up here. Most of the nests are in area four and south. Very still out here this morning. A bit on the muggy side. I guess here somebody made a boat. <laughs> Kind of a boat. Use your imagination. There's the bow up there. The two seats. A little speed boat. I wonder what stories Roy will have for us today. wonder if we missed anything exciting out here yesterday. The water is absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. Hopefully it's, things are getting back to normal here. It's like coconut floating out in the water. I haven't seen any any shells yet that I wanted to pick up. No new crawls, no signs of any sea turtle crawls. I'm gonna take a look back down the beach. No, nope, I don't see the rangers doing anything down there to the south. Huh. Neat sky though, isn't that a great looking sky out here? It's a big thunderstorm out there in the Gulf. It's been out there all morning. Summertime in Southwest Florida. Is nest number four. And I think we had a hatching there. There's a little depression there. Looks like the hole filled in, but I think we might have had a hatching there. Nest number four. That's beautiful. That's a great thing to see.
That's number 42. Up in area four. sandbar is exposed over here part of it this is where the barge was anchored used to be anchored now it's gone hallelujah there's a little worm shell a couple of them down there a little worm tip Gonna walk along here. There's a few shells scattered around here. I'm gonna walk along here and then walk out to that sandbar. All little shells. I don't see anything big right here. Oh, here's what's left of a crab down there. <laughs> Somebody got him. Oh no, it's alive. Oh, very cool. It's alive. It's a calico crab. A little baby leopard crab. Look at that. I don't know why it was on its back. I'm going to sit it up over by the edge of the water. That's a little calico or leopard crab. Beautiful shells. A leopard crab. Isn't that cool? Let's sit it over here by the water. Probably one of the birds was messing with it. Oh no, it's got eggs. It's a female, it's full of eggs. See that, that's an egg sack there. She's full of eggs. She's missing one of her claws. Those are all eggs, those black things. How cool. The leopard crab. Beautiful, beautiful crabs. They get pretty big, too. There she goes. Now yeah, she's waking up. How cool is that? Get a little picture of her quick. Hang on. Sorry about that. I'm back. Now she's moving around. Yep, the leopard crab. Well, I am happy to see she's all right. Let's go back up there and see if we find anything else. That was a nice little find this morning. That was interesting, huh? Here we go. Piece of a murex. Looks like a piece of an apple murex shell. old apple murex. Will we get lucky and find a whole one? <laughs> now they're broken. There's a part of an old tulip shell. Lots of little worm shells. Ooh, there's a little darn it piece of a little baby crown conch. Come on, focus. That's part of a crown conch. That's a little baby crown conch. Probably got sucked up in the dredging, with the dredging operation. It's a little one. I'm 
Lots of worm shells. I'll walk out onto that sandbar here. See if anything new came up during the night. The tide's still going out, so the longer I wait, the better it's gonna be. See Roy over there, checking out the water. Wonder where that little crab went. Wonder where she went off, she crawled off to. She's still along the beach or if she swam out into deeper water. I think she took off. See how clear that water is, gorgeous. Yep, I don't see her out here. She swam off. <laughs> Where did she go? You can hear the thunder every once in a while rumbling out there in that cloud. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive thunderhead. I wonder if there's anything new out here. You, know, you just never know what you're going to find. Every day it's a little something different. This morning, that neat little, that neat little calico crab, that was cool. There's a big old, big old crown conch. Look at that. Thing has seen better days, huh? Wow. It's a nice little little cockle shell over here. That's a keeper. A keeper cockle. <laughs> Find lots of these cockles out here. It's got some great colors. Really exaggerated with the morning light. Nice, beautiful, almost pink inside the cockles. Is that a big scallop shell over here? Yep, there's a scallop. Nice yellow scallop shell. Hey, what's missing here? <laughs> that barge isn't on top of us here this morning. Isn't that great? I don't know why it's still here, though. Why they haven't moved it completely out of here. I hope they're done. It just made the water so cloudy, that dredging. 
Actually working up a little sweat here. Here's another beautiful cockle shell down here. Look at that one. It's a nice little cockle shell. It'll focus. There it goes. Lots of clam shells out here. Tons of clam shells. All dredged up from Wiggins Pass, I'm assuming. All these clam shells like this. One of our turkey wing shells. Pretty obvious, huh, why they would call that a turkey wing. It's that little island, the little sandbar where all those turns were the other day. There's a big drop off here between these two little sandbars. Those are man-made, so these are man-made sandbars. This is some of the sand they pumped up out of Wiggins Pass. But if you go out a little bit to the west, there's a little walk around here in between them. Out into the Gulf. see anything out here. Come back over here. One little seagull out here with me. One gull. It's a piece of a lightning whelk. A couple light pieces of lightning whelks. A little scallop. Oh, maybe a whelk. Maybe we got a lightning whelk over here. Oh, that's an old one. That is a very old lightning whelk lost all its color. That's a really old lightning whelk there. It's a baby, but it's old. <laughs> what else? Several conks out here. I don't see any of them crawling around. There's a small conk. It's a smaller Florida fighting conch shell there. Yeah, lots of the normal stuff. There's a lot of clam shells. Lots of broken stuff out here. Lots and lots of broken shells. There's a nice little worm shell. It's a nice little worm shell. Right next to a nice little scallop with some barnacles on it. I always think those are cool. I can pick those up when they have the barnacles on them. Thank you. 
focus here. There we go. Anything else? I'm not seeing anything. Like I said, lots of broken stuff and old stuff. This piece of an old whelk here. Part of an old lightning whelk. Just I call that the stem. Here's an olive. An old olive shell. Got a hole in the end. Lots of conks out here, though. See the other buried in the sand here? Here's, these are two conks, one over here, one down here. That's a nice, that's a nice fighting conch shell right there. That's a really nice one. Beautiful shell. There's quite a few of them out here. off the beach, off Area 4 beach here, now on the new sandbar. Let me check the other side of this one out. Mostly all stones here. Mostly all stones. Nice little, another little scallop shell. Yeah, beautiful looking back at the beach. There's a nice big scallop. Wow. Just, oh, it's got big chip in it, darn it. That was gorgeous. That would have been a beautiful, beautiful specimen there. It's got big chip in the top though. That's huge. That is a huge scallop. Hold it up to the light. See, you can see right through the thing. Isn't that cool? That's a big one. There's a big cockle shell. Chipped on the edge there. That's a nice size cockle. Funny how when you look from a different direction because of the shadows, you think you can see different things. But as you can see, that barge is finally gone from here. They've moved it further down the beach. You know what? I'm going to take a photo of that. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I wonder 
what could be crawling around out here this morning. We did see a neat little calico this morning earlier. You'll need to check that out in the replay if you missed it. Neat little calico crab, also known as a, called a leopard crab. Get back up on the beach here. See if I missed anything up here. Piece of a worm shell. Those are always so cool, the worm shells. So neat to look at. It's got some crazy textures there. knows what that is. I'm not going to say by now you should know what kind of shell that is. Part of a little nursery rhyme. There's one of our slipper shells down there. The slipper. Flip it over. It looks like a little shoe. It's like a little slipper when you turn it over. Lots of little worm shells over here. Wow. See, and there's a couple there. One over here. I'd like to find a nice big one. I haven't found a big worm shell in a long time. It's a pretty nice one there. You can get these 08, 10 inches sometimes. They're really fragile though. Walk a little further up the beach. See what we come across. See our friend Roy. For those of you that are new to these beach walks, our friend Roy, he's gonna be 94 in December. Great guy. Always has a smile for us and usually a good little story. Maybe some advice. I always enjoy chatting with him. He's pretty much the highlight of my beach walks. Him and the dolphins. We haven't seen any dolphins lately, and I don't think we're going to see many dolphins up at this end of the beach anymore, just because it is so shallow. This beach has changed a lot here. I mean, this water's maybe a foot deep out here right now. The dolphins are going to be further out. I'm sweating. Sweating pretty good. It's very still out here, still and humid. There's a bunch of little shells down here. Anything interesting? jumping right out at me here. 
Of course, you never know. You really got to get down and look really close when you're shelling. Just never know what you're going to find. A lot of times, you'll there'll be just a little piece of a really nice shell sticking out. Look at this. Here's a little tiny. Look how tiny this is. This is a little baby Florida fighting conch. Look how small that is. Well, now we're going to get into the shadows of the pine trees. It's harder to see things in the shade. There's Roy up there with his book. He's always reading a book. Hey, did y'all get your nonstop Naples app yet? Nonstop Naples, download your app. When you're in Naples, use some of the coupons and rewards on there. Get in our be sure to like Nonstop Naples Facebook page to get in our weekly drawings. What's up, Roy? Oh, it's kind of itchy on the beach this morning. Itchy this morning? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> no seams or? Yeah, I should have put on my bug spray. Oh, you don't have it with you? Huh. Up in the car. They haven't got me yet. <coughs> Well, I had my beach run. <coughs> I even inhaled them. Ugh, that's not good. How's things up at the pass? Good, good. I had nice sun, nice sunrise. Nice sunrise. Everything out of there. This is. Are the barges out of there yet? No. Darn. There's both barges there. Both of them are there. Yeah, they had an interesting little <coughs> performance yesterday. Really. Yeah, they dropped off a man down on that barge, and uh, he started that, I think it must be an air compressor, because uh -huh. as soon as he got there, the, the pipe started to float up. Okay. And he pumped air in it, and the whole pipe floated up down to here, and then they had that other barge with a backhoe, and they lifted up the big pipe, then they sawed it in half, you could hear them zzz, Oh, so they are taking it apart. Yeah. But then they put it back together. Oh. That's part of their routine to saw it in half and put it back together. Well, that together. makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and after they did that, then it floated up for a farther area. Then they moved it down again, sawed it in half, put it back together, lifted it up with a big backhoe. Oh, great. And it floated up farther, and it got all the way up. Then the wind, a little breeze came up out of the west. Uh -huh. And it blew the big pipe because it was floating. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, darn, I see him. <coughs> You're not supposed to eat those bugs. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good protein. Oh, boy. Good protein. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's a bit much. Anyway, it blew the pipe in right close to the beach here. Oh, my gosh. So then they hooked a uh, tug onto that barge, towed it way down there to kind of bring the pipe back out. But that didn't quite do it. So they got another little boat with an outboard, and they swung it around, and he got on this side of the pipe, pipe, and they pushed and pushed. Finally, they moved the pipe back out. Oh, Lord. Always. Then I went for my swim, because you couldn't swim before, because right. the pipe was right here. Went for my swim, and of course, I couldn't go very far, because here's a big pipe in front of me. Yeah. But I still had my swim, but it wasn't looking at the horizon. It was looking at a rusty pipe, <laughs> which wasn't quite the same. Right. Then I come in from my swim, and right then, they have the other barge out, the the, the um, excavator barge, uh -huh. and they must have hooked that on the pipe, because they must have ran water through it, and they sunk the pipe. Hmm. Just when I was just coming in from my swim. <laughs> oh, well, you can't win. So the all. pipe is now sunk out there. They probably did that because they didn't want it <coughs> sit, sitting up there overnight. Huh. So along about noon or something, why, when they're done with their breakfast and their snacks, they'll come out with their tugboat and drop somebody off there. He'll start the compressor, 
and the pipe will float back up. <laughs> then they can proceed with cutting it in half and patching it together. I have, what the heck is that about? <laughs> I wonder well, if they're done or if they're just... Well, eventually, eventually, which could be another year or two, <laughs> eventually they're going to haul that pipe out when it's floating because they brought it in when it was when floating. When it was floating? I remember oh, when okay. they brought it in. Wow. So wherever they're going next with their... So they didn't build it here. They brought it in as a big... There was a big long pipe that was floating. They tugged it, brought it with that tugboat. Wow. It was from, brought from the north. So wow. I don't know where their next job is, but uh, wherever it is, they'll... Well, I hope they're done. That's all I can say. Because well, the they water's aren't dredging start... anymore. The water's looking a lot better now. Yeah, they aren't dredging because the pipe is not connected to the dredge. Wow. Well... Thanks for that information. So when that's a long and short. I'm gonna of the let pipe. you. I'm gonna let you finish digesting your bugs here for a little well, while. I'm gonna go for a swim because I'm so itchy. Okay, then I'll come and back. That way I can get a swim before they raise the pipe. There you go. Think oh. of uh, think of a good word for us for today, and I'll be back. Oh, I got some good words. Okay. Well, we'll hear those in a little bit. Good show. All right. Be careful. Be careful out there. Yeah. Good to you, Rob. Yep. Always, Roy. We'll check back with Roy here in a little bit. He's going to take a dip, take a plunge as he calls it. We'll just go up the beach a little further. See if anything interesting washed ashore here. Remember, you can always watch these videos, the entire video or replay later on on Facebook or I'll also include a link to YouTube in this description where you can watch it in a little higher quality and that that always comes in handy because a lot of times we'll our signal will drop out while we're walking along so you, you always have the video the whole entire video there on YouTube now to watch there's a piece of a Big old whelk over here. Kind of the inside of the whelk. Isn't that neat? <coughs> Excuse me. The lightning whelk. That's an old one. A really old one. Get some light on it again. Come on, focus having a hard time focusing sometimes I got to put it in my hand got some seaweed growing on the top of it where's all the people Boy, it is quiet out here, Monday morning. Everybody must have the Monday morning blahs. Anything down here? Little, this little pile of shells down here, but all oh, little tiny stuff, little broken shells. Beautiful morning out here. There was some thunder rumbling earlier. It's still a storm out there. These big white puffy clouds. I think I'm gonna take a photo of those. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? Those clouds are beautiful. The blue and the white. 
It's looking south down towards the city of Naples. We're all the way up at the north end of Naples. Almost out of Collier County here. Almost on the county line. Pretty close to it. Um, there's a mile of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Beautiful Florida State Park. Always looking for volunteers to help out here. If you like the outdoors, the beach, nature, great place to think about volunteering. Come, come hang out at the beach. <laughs> Boy, the water's really starting to look great up here. Look at that. Big difference. Tons. Tons of little fish out here in the water. I mean, just hundreds and hundreds of them. Little fish, big fish. I'm going to zoom in, see if you can see them. Can you see the little fish swimming around down there? Just hundreds of them swimming by. A little school of them just swam by. That was kind of neat. I hope you were seeing them. I might be pushing my luck here by going further north. I don't know if our friend Mike is up here. Somebody's up here fishing. I don't know who it is. Well, you can see we've lost a lot of beach up here, up the north end of the park. A lot of erosion here. Didn't see any signs of any new sea turtle crawls this morning. No new nest this morning. As far as I know, we're still up to 48. Looks like the Pfeifers are up here. Our friends from Germany, Marcus and Andrea and their son, Julius. There's nest number 48, sea turtle nest number 48, way up on the dunes there. It's up the dunes and up by the picnic tables. I took some pictures of that the other day. It's way up there. See to the left of that bench, if you look close there, you can see the nest right up there. Sea turtle nest number 48. Look at that, she climbed all the way up the dunes. That's an impressive crawl. <laughs> yep, 
Fisherman Mike's up here too. Pelicans flying by. They're always fun to watch, the pelicans. Well, the water is gorgeous here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Even with the tide going out at Wiggins Pass, it still looks nice. That's great. Some more of our beach friends. Good morning. Hola. Hola. <laughs> How are you doing today? Fine, just fine, yeah. just fine. We are, we are fighting with our buck fights. Oh, you know? we have so much. There's, yeah, Roy's in. Is he? I don't know. He's going in the water <coughs> to get away from the bugs. Yeah, yeah. they're they're bad. Well, it's not a breeze. Water. No. It's hot, hotter than heck. It's humid and hot and sticky. We went to uh, area three yesterday. Oh. Snorkeling. Is that, didn't I see you down there? Not Did, yesterday. No. The day before? On area two. Were you in, was that two where yep. you are at? And we went to the first one on area three, just past uh -huh. that ramp. Uh-huh. Oh, there was an area with snook. Oh, like, really? Did, yeah. you, everybody, yeah. I mean, they were just in close, like, um, what, maybe 10 yards off well, the Well, they shore. know you can't fish there. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> then you went a little bit further out in sheephead, just schools of sheephead. Well, I'm glad they're out there. Yeah. But uh, they're not up here, Nothing huh? up here. They know you can't fish down there, yeah. so that's why they hang out yep. down there. Well, it's that, and it was funny because, you know, in area two, that that black, that dark spot. Right. That's all tree roots out there. Right. Just rot, rotting away. You be careful out there. Right? Oh, it's slippery than heck. Yeah. But the sheephead, they were, I mean, the snook, they yeah. were in the sand. Yeah. You know, where it was clear. And they were just stocked. I mean, wow. everywhere. And then that one big one, that was like, one whoa. Big well, you know, it's like an obstacle course now in oh. Area 4 for the fish, the dolphin. The dolphins can't even come in there anymore. It's yeah, so shallow yeah, out there. Yeah, because it's so shallow. Yep. So, right. I gonna, see now what they they moved it down even further. They're going to pump more sand I hope there? they're not. I hope they're done pumping. Because that they just moved that yesterday. Roy further. said it was quite, he was telling us, he said it was quite a fiasco, them moving that pipe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got to pull up to the beach. They got to pull, <laughs> push and pull. The, the the one the pumping one pushes and the the tug in the front pulls. Yeah. I hope they're done. Oh me, man, that, that made a mess of the beach. Yes. I mean, it's all it was all dirty. <sighs> and, and that's what once we came early and we got I snorkeled early right away. Seven thirty, I'm in the water. Yeah. And once by eight o'clock, eight thirty. With all the people in there, you could see the water just getting really? real. Uh, Did you find anything in these shells or anything? No, no, there no, nothing for shells down there. Hmm. No, there's no shells at all no, down no, down there. there. Are you, even around here, some. the huh? Yeah, little little ones, yeah. yeah but nothing like you find down. Yeah, nothing spectacular. On, you know, on, down on five. Yeah. So how are you enjoying your vacation so far? Okay. It's so nice. I, We're that's enjoying a, that's our a nice set of wheels you got. Yeah. The wheels, your car. Yeah, and he's yeah. going to get a different that, one today. You're going to get a different one? Yeah. Today, yeah. Oh, boy. That's pretty fast, huh? That truck. I don't know. You don't, oh, <laughs> he's not going to admit it. He's, he's a, not going to admit we, it. Well, he's afraid <laughs> to drive it. Oh, really? We that got is, that speeding ticket last year. So oh, remember, oh, you got a ticket back, last yeah, year? Yeah, when oh. we came back from the So he, he drives like grandma. <laughs> Yeah, everybody yeah. going around and yeah. honking their horn. Oh, that's they funny. don't honk, but you know, <laughs> they, wave, they wave at them. You know, the, the, the one finger wave. Yeah, there you go. The one finger salute. <laughs> I was still that finger. It wasn't that Yeah, finger. they give them the one finger salute. Yeah. <laughs> we, paid, we paid, I think it was 280 last year. Yeah. For the speeding ticket. Yeah. Yeah. How it fast, folks? How much over the I speed limit? It was 17. Or maybe all. 22. We don't know. Yeah. We don't no, 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 not 22. Yeah, they don't mess around. They need their money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that was an alligator alley. It was. Oh. It, it was, was somewhere when we uh, came back from the Miami. Keys. Oh, it okay. was in Miami. Close to Miami. I, I thought it was a 70 allowance, so I was going 72, but it was a 55. Oh. So, but they, they caught, he, he pulled out two cars at the same time. 
They'll usually give you at least five miles an yeah. hour. Yeah, that's yeah. what I, I told them. And I usually... I'm, I'm five to ten. I go, I go, I just set the cruise control, it's to 79. Yep. Keep it under 80. Yep. And I haven't and gotten you, a ticket. When you don't see them, they, no. Oh, no. they come yeah. out, out of, of nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. yeah, they do their job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot around here without any markings at all. Yeah, exactly. You gotta watch out for them. Yeah. I just seen, like, a, I seen a pickup truck. Uh, yeah, here in, the other yeah here in Naples Park, yeah. we have a couple pickup trucks. Yeah, oh, like civilian? Like civilian? Yeah, 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 yeah. He could, yeah. Could, he had All of a sudden, lights the lights come on inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. Yep. Yeah. They're really, they're looking more for DUI and you know, people drinking. And, okay. Yeah. Well, and that, just that erratic lane changes, you know, people are yeah. just going in and, and out. And blowing the stops. Here, you know, where Roy and I live, we got these four-way stops and yeah. people blow through them yeah. all the time. Yeah. All the time. So they're always watching for that. But I guess the car is fast, you know. Yeah. So the guy has 400 horse. That's pretty so, good. Yeah. yeah. So I think till the third gear. Is that a hybrid too? Is it one of those? No, oh no. no hybrid, so it's, no. it uses a lot of gas. It's a, it's a good 5.6 V8. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk up here right. a little bit yeah. further. I'll see you in, yeah. on the way back. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a big fish to show me when well, I get back. Well, let me know if they're catching fish down there. I have, you know, I don't, I don't even know where the pipe is anymore. That's why I didn't go down there. Yeah, I mean they used to have it marked. I guess, I mean that must yeah, be it way mean, out there. Uh, but the last time I was down there, the pipe was uh, ten feet from shore. You know, on the point. It was on the beach at some point. Yeah, you know, during yeah. the couple months ago, it was crazy. Did you see Roy this morning? No, he was already no, by me. We just showed up. Oh, okay. All right. Does it, is he, has he figured out who you are? I guess. <laughs> All right. See you in a little bit. Yeah. Huh? He called yesterday. Roy called? Yeah, I called, want to talk to Mary. He goes, or was it Saturday? Anyway, he goes, yeah, you know the government got hacked? You know, about the, the 12 Russian? Oh, right. I go, Roy, that's been over a year. You're, right. You need to get cut, watch some news. He never watches I know. TV. He, He's funny. He, he uh, said he was reading the uh, Wall Street Journal or something like that. From a year ago? Yeah. <laughs> He's but, so funny. But he goes, yeah, they need to get that uh, hacker, you know, the thing, the scam thing that he has on, you know, that Mary bought for him. Oh, <laughs> the government needs to get it. <laughs> Oh, he is funny. Oh, gosh. Roy and computers. Those two don't get along. <laughs> Roy is funny. We're going to see Roy in a little bit. When I head back down to the beach, I told him to think about a word of the day for us. He said he's got a couple good words. So that'll be fun. Just going to peek around the corner here. Keeping our fingers crossed that this connection holds. So far, so good today. I gotta be heading back though soon. I started down in area one again this morning. Got a long walk back. And I do wanna spend a little time chatting with Roy. There's one of our shell trees. This is where I hung that cockle shell the other day. I wonder if it's still up here. Where did I hang that cockle? I forget where I hung it. Forgot where I hung the cockle shell. It was somewhere in here, I thought. I don't see it. Huh. You know what, there it is. There's that shell I hung yesterday. There's that cockle that I hung for everybody watching. I even took a picture of it. You can see that on Facebook. It's a neat little tradition here, hanging these shells. Most of these are hung in memory of someone that passed away. We got several trees like this along the beach up here at the north end of the park. Nice little ledge here. 
morning. Subscriber. Huh? I'm a subscriber. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, hey. Uh, well, then, say hey to everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> How's the fishing going? A little slow. Got some small stuff. Nothing big. No keepers? No keepers yet. Mike yeah. said, I don't know if you know Mike. No, uh, just from sight. Yeah, he, um, he was out snorkeling in Area 3 the other day. He said there was like three foot snook out there, tons of sheephead. Really? Yeah, but that, they, they know you can't fish down there. Is that south of the sandbar? Yeah. Yeah, they know. That's, that's, that screwed everything up, this dredging. It screwed everything I know. up. I know. I hope they're done. Yeah, it's been a couple of days. I haven't heard them, so. Yeah, Hopefully keeping my fingers crossed. Me too. The water is looking a lot better. Absolutely. Have a good one. Good luck. Thank you. It's always nice seeing a follower here at the beach, somebody that watches our feeds. It's like our little beach community here on Facebook. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. That's what this is all about. I love the little comments going back and forth between our friends. I really can't see the screen when I'm out here on the beach because of the glare, the reflections. But I try to read them when I get back. Sometimes it just gets overwhelming. There's hundreds of comments, hundreds and hundreds. Sometimes there's over 400 comments. It's just amazing. But it's neat to watch everybody chatting back and forth. And that's what this is all about. It's about making new friends. I'm just giving you a background to converse over. There's a nice little fighting conch. Come here, bud. Anybody home? Nope, nobody home. Nobody home in this shell. It's got some little green seaweed growing on him. <laughs> well, there's a few fishermen up here. I don't know if they're catching anything. Probably not. There's actually a couple folks out in boats out here fishing. Two boats out here offshore. There's a guy in a little skiff out there. Get a focus. A little fishing skiff. Water's pretty shallow out there. You can see the new channel markers they just put in. They don't even have the numbers on them yet. There's somebody else fishing over here on the left. Somewhere over here. Where are they? There they are. Just kind of drifting along out there. How'd you like to be out there? It is pretty hot here. <laughs> It's going to be, you know, with the heat index, it's going to be up in the hundreds today. It's going to be a hot one. Get off my ugly face there. Going to go too much further here. This is the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is Wiggins Pass where you see this boat heading out. On the other side of the pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful beach. It's a county park over there. This is a state park here on this side. I'm going to take a quick photo of that. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. I think I'm gonna turn around here. Let me go up onto the beach up here into the, let you see these beautiful, all these beautiful sea oats up here.
all of our sea outs, they're protected by law. You're not allowed to mess around with them, pick them, walk in them. Don't tamper with the sea outs. This is what holds our shoreline together. You can see some of the roots down there. Beautiful though, the sea outs. These are all in bloom now. You can see if you look close why they call it sea oats. I'll find out, get, a, get you a better look and up close look at one of the blooms here and a spot where I can walk without messing with any of them. Let's see how when you look close, see how they, they look like, they kind of look like oats. Sea oats. Beautiful. These were all destroyed last year, last September, by Hurricane Irma. They're all finally coming back. Finally. Thank goodness. Look how thick they are here. Wow. Amazing. It's just beautiful looking out through the water at the water through these. One of my favorite views. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of it. Bear with me here. Hang tight. It's a beautiful view. Let's make our way back down the beach. Back down to Roy. He said he had a word of the day for us, or he said a few words. Well, that'll be fun to hear those. No fish up here either. No? No fish. You're not missing anything. They're still yeah. looking for the, Even the, nice shells for the big here. Yeah, yeah. That, that one's got some hair on it. Yeah. <laughs> Seaweed. All right. Have fun. See you later. Thank See you later. And thanks again for that gift. Thank you. No that was sweet. Thank you. Great people, the Pfeifers. They come over here, they're spending three weeks here. They come from Germany. We have a lot of German friends here this time of year. Our good friend Astrid, I haven't seen Astrid in a while. I have not seen Astrid at the beach. She's been out here, she's seen Roy. Been having some gorgeous, gorgeous sunsets here in the past couple weeks. I don't know if you've been following some of the other Naples pages. There's been a lot of people posting beautiful sunsets. One of our friends, Emily, if you're friends with Emily Powers, she's been posting some beautiful sunset photos. Our friend Sandy. By the time sunset gets around, I'm just, my day is, I'm done with my day. I'd love to come out here. I'm just exhausted by that time. I'll try. 
I'll try to make it out here one of these nights. Look at those beautiful clouds, huh? No fish down there. Hey, Julius. We're all in the non-fishing zone. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Oh, They're not I, stupid. The snorkeling is just so much fun. I mean, I, I can't believe how many fish are down there. They're just uh, in the snook. They're just, you know, schools of them. Yeah. And same with, you know, same with the sheephead. You, you see one, you kind of stop, and they just keep coming by and coming yeah. by and coming by. They're just teasing you. You know, uh... It, it, the snorkeling well, has could, really added a, a dimension to this. You could just to, reach out and grab them down there. Almo, uh, almost. <laughs> almost. Uh, I actually got a retractable walking stick so I can just, you know, pull myself along instead of, uh -huh. uh, you know, oh, trying to swim. That's a good swim. idea. Yeah. So I just had Mary hang on to my belt loop and... Uh, there you go. Yeah. Attached at the hip. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And... It worked out well, so she nice. got to you know see some fish. Well, you're not, <laughs> not missing anything up at that end. No, uh, I. It just. It's, a, it's remarkable how many fish are you know. But even here, if you just went in here and snorkeled, you're going to see sheephead. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But, uh, you know they want the shrimp and they're just bait stealers, so I don't know if they're right. going to just keep feeding the... Uh, right. Well, somebody's got to support them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Their parents have had enough of them. <laughs> yeah. But I think in a, they're going to the, the Keys. Uh, oh, okay. Are, or, or they're going to uh, the uh, Space oh, up to Center first. But I think next week uh, we're going to go out on Captain Tony's boat and oh, okay. get them on a reef and let them catch some Are you fish. going with them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That'll be fun. Yeah. I'll come here first and get a bucket full of white bait. And... There you go. All right. Well, good luck today, Mike. Thank you. You have a good one. Thank and, you. Uh, get in a cool area. It's supposed to be like up to 108. Yeah, they say it's going to be a hot one with yeah. the heat index. Well, you can today. tell. I mean. Uh, oh, yeah. It's already warming up. Boy, is so. that a. That thing's been out there all morning. I know, but it's just, it's growing now. It's rumbling. So cool. Yep. Starting to rumble. Well, they were showing this morning how, how many lightning strikes and that's yeah it was uh down by marco it was incredible yep it's amazing our summertime storm i know i know I, I, it's really neat to come I out love here. It here it's you neat know. to come out at, at sunset when the light oh, and when out you can really gulf. see the oh the sun, it's just incredible yeah because driving i can see it yep. you know by the time i get here it's a little light yeah yeah in the morning early morning yeah. too offshore yep it is something yeah it doesn't video very well, but it's no, but it's it, neat to watch. But this Thunderhead is just growing. It is. Bigger and bigger. All right. I got to right, get rolling. You have a good one. Yep, you too. I seen Roy head out. He's, he's up. Uh, there he is. Is he swimming? Yeah. Okay. He's got some words for us. All right. <laughs> Roy's got some words of wisdom or something for us today. Mike said he's out in the water somewhere. Oh, that's there's a little white ibis down here a oh, white ibis a little snowy egret sorry about that that water looking great these little yellow feet a little snowy egret great look at him him or her yep oh, camera shy That's that thunderstorm that's been out there. It's been out there all morning. Every once in a while you can hear some thunder rumbling through here. Ooh, I just saw a flash of lightning out there. That's way out in the Gulf. I don't know if you saw it.
I don't know if we're gonna get to chat with Roy yet or not this morning. He's waiting way out to take his plunge, it looks like. At least I think it's Roy. Or is that Roy? Oh, I think I see Roy's head sticking up. It's hard to tell if it's a marker or Roy. No, I think that's Roy. Way out there. Let's see if you can see him out there. He's way, way out there. I don't know if we're going to catch up with him this morning. Right? See that little thing in the center of the screen? Ooh, it's lightning out there again. I think that's Roy out there. That storm's really far away. Nothing to worry about lightning-wise there. He sure is far out there. Beautiful Monday morning here in North Naples. Ooh, that cloud is getting more. There's more and more lightning out there. I'm just gonna kind of hang out here and wait for Roy. I'm gonna zoom in a little on that storm out there. See if you can see the lightning, let you have a look at it. Can you hear the thunder? Keep an eye out there. There was a flash there. One of our Southwest Florida thunderstorms. Hopefully it's gonna stay out in the Gulf. Another flash of lightning. Somebody was yelling behind me. Of course, when I focus in on the cloud, there's no lightning. Yeah, I see my friend Angelo walking up the beach. He's coming up towards us. Huh, yeah, I'm gonna take a picture. Come on, Roy, where are you at? Darn it, get back in here. We want to talk to you this morning. There's that little snowy egret. Is that water gorgeous?
they're amazed. They're calling the little, the little snowy white eagle, the little baby flamingo. How cute. <laughs> Well, Roy is way the heck out there in the water. So I don't think we're gonna chat with him today. He is way out there. I don't know if you can see him out in the water or not. I can't see the screen at all here. He's quite a ways out. I don't know if you can see him out there or not. What's up, Angelo? Good morning. What you doing? Doing my morning walk. Morning walk, man. Oh. Good exercise. Yeah, get get it out before the sun's right on top of you. Ooh, it's gonna be a hot one today, too. Yeah, it sure is. Man. It's nice now, though. So, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I think I I was looking for Roy. I think that's him out there. I don't know. Thought he was out there swimming. Well, I didn't see him coming the other way from number one. I thought that was him out there to the right of that orange thing, but I don't know. I thought he might've walked the other way with you. I thought no. I saw somebody. He already was up here. He said he was gonna hang out here and wait for me. And he had some words, had some good words for us today. I thought I saw him out there, now I don't. He wasn't in his car, huh? I didn't come in that way. Oh. I mean, he usually doesn't stay out in the water this long. He just goes out, takes a plunge, and comes back. I walked all the way down from one and didn't see him. Maybe he's out You started at one, too? He might be out by his car doing something. I don't know. Because I don't see anything moving around out there. See, I thought, what is that out there? Looks like a boy. He wears that darn white hat when he's out swimming. Oh, well, that might be him standing out there. But he never, he doesn't usually stay out this long. That does kind of look like a buoy. All right, Roy, where are you hiding at? <laughs> it's really shallow, so you got to go far out now. Ever since they added all this new sand here, you got to go a ways out. They sure did a nice job. Huh. They ruined this beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Better than nothing. Now the dolphins can't come in here anymore or anything. We used to get the dolphins come right up on the beach here. Yeah, I think that one was checking Roy out all the time. <laughs> yeah, it was here a lot. Haven't seen it in a long time. Well, Mike said, I was up there talking to our friend Fisherman Mike. He said he saw Roy walking out into the water. So, but I don't see anything moving around out there. So I'm gonna go up into the parking lot and see if by chance he's up there on his phone well, real quick. You You're gonna take off, Angelo? Yeah, eventually. Okay. See if Roy's back here, hiding from the bugs. Well, his car's here. Thought he might have went home to get bug spray. But no, he's not in his car. That's, that's, that's his car, that Cadillac there. If you ever come up here, that's where he parks, the north end of Area 4. Just look for that car, and you'll know Roy's out here. But he is not here now. And I don't see him out in the water, darn it. But it's hard to see people when they get out there, out far. Ow. Man, there's a bad board on the boardwalk there. You could get your foot caught in between it. I don't know where Roy is at. He has disappeared from sight. I don't know if that's him or not out there. <laughs> I'll walk out on the sandbar. Yep. Oh, that's the anchor for the old anchor for the barge. Take a little walk out onto the sandbar here. Is that his head sticking up? He's staying out a long time. That is Roy's head sticking up out of the water. He's been out there a long time. He's way out there. It's amazing how shallow this water is out here. I wonder if there's any little shells over here. Angelo, he can walk out to here. The water is not even up to my knees yet. Let's see if I can get persuade him to come in a little closer to me here and 
share his words of wisdom with us. You know what they say if you, what's that saying about bringing Mohammed to the mountain or the mountain to Mohammed? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. You can see that little Troy's head floating out there. See if I can get him to come in. Hey, Roy! Roy! Come share your words with us. Come on in. Before I run out of batteries. You see him out there? He's out there hiding from the bugs. Just absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm in about knee deep water out here. Offshore of area four. Absolutely beautiful. Our mile long beach here at Del Norwegans. Beautiful Monday morning. This water is so warm out here. It's like bath water. It's looking up to the north. Isn't that beautiful? What a view. What a view out here in the water. I'm going to take a picture of that. Bear with me. Looking north, looking north of that beautiful blue sky. Just waiting for Roy to come in here and hoping my batteries hold up here. He said he had some nice words for us. Some words, some new words of wisdom for us. You can see they finally moved that barge away from the sandbar there. Hopefully they're done with that pumping. Beautiful view down the beach from here as well. Well, Roy's close, but I don't know here. He's out in the deep water. I can't make it over to him. Awful slow going. <laughs> Slower than a turtle, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't walk. <laughs> well, I got to get going, Roy. You closing in? Yeah. One of those sea turtles was out swim you. <laughs> yeah, you had a good plunge out there today. You were out there quite a ways. You were pretty far out there. Oh, I've been out a lot farther than that. You've been out further than that? Yeah, of course, you got to take a couple plunges. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a 30, 
Well, we have millions of people here waiting to hear from you. Millions. Millions. My God. They're hanging on the edge of their chairs, <laughs> waiting for your wisdom. <laughs> well, I hope they don't fall off their chairs when they hear my wisdom. <laughs> they won't fall off their chair. Well, I can't say that for sure, but. <laughs> sandbars it's hard to get out there and get a swim there oh it is those dolphins are gonna have a hard time coming in yeah that's too bad this water is almost too warm well it's pretty nice if you're in it for quite a while it's, nice it's really warm gosh 86 degrees or something oh well, you had a you were pretty far out there. We I could I couldn't even see. I didn't know if that was a buoy out there or your head. <laughs> we're trying well, to find as long you. As it floats up like a buoy, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then there was I don't know what that is out there uh, with the bird buoys. sitting on it. That's the end of their pipe, I think. Or, but yeah, or not the end, but that's their. It's nice here. No pipe. bugs. Yeah. No bugs out here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Mike and them, the Pfeifers, they're getting eaten up by the bugs up there fishing. Yeah. Oh, their Pfeifers are back. Huh? Oh, yeah, they're all up there. That's them up there fishing. Huh. They're not catching anything, huh. Huh. but they're fishing. Yeah, they <laughs> were down. Fishing. I inscribed a book to them in German. That was neat. <laughs> what you know what you said in there in German? Oh, something about uh, Guten Abend and, I don't know, <laughs> Good Morgen and... Got, did, got be with you or something. Did they I, help you inscribe it? <laughs> well, uh, uh, Astrid did that for me. Oh, she that got was it, nice. She yeah, got Astrid. it all arranged. Astrid, <laughs> Astrid. I have not seen Astrid in ages. Oh, she was down here. That was maybe a week or so. Oh, ago. nice. So how's she doing? Good? Yeah, she busy? yeah. Seems to be busy along. with her real estate. Yeah, and her, uh, I think some friends or nephews or something were here and talked to her sister over in Germany and. Well, well, earlier this morning when I saw you, you said you had a couple words for us. Well, I do. All right. Well, These let's hear them. These aren't my words, but they're uh, Dennis's words. Dennis's? But, yeah, Dennis. Uh, uh, he comes down along the beach. And okay. We shared uh, good words, and he had kind of a good, uh, not kind of, I thought it was a really good one. Okay. Let's hear it. It was, uh, don't sweat the small stuff, and everything is small stuff. <laughs> there you go. That's the truth. It is small Everything stuff. Everything is small stuff, and don't sweat the small stuff. Yep. In the big picture, it's all small stuff. Well, that's one of the words. And the other word of the day is uh, make progress. Progress towards perfection. You never reach perfection. That's the great creator. He's perfect, but none of right. us are really perfect. Right. But we have to keep making progress towards perfection. So that's the other word, is keep striving and making progress for, for, towards perfection. Great advice. That was worth standing out here in the water for. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like it. Uh, Jenny, Jenny had one that was kind of oh, yeah? similar to that, don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, it was after I got annoyed about something and blew my top, which I was very... <laughs> uh, um, annoyed at myself about for blowing the top. But anyway, uh, she said that I should be big enough to not worry about the little things. There you go. Be That's big kinda enough deep. to not uh, there you go. That's a deep one. little things. Very good. So it kind of ties up with that. With That's that a great one. thought. Yep. Awesome. Well, well we got Jenny had a thought. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. So she So what's it. Roy's? We got we got everybody else's. What's your thought for the day? <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. My, my thought for the day is to appreciate other people's thoughts. There you go. Because they have good thoughts too. So everybody has good thoughts and it's nice to share thoughts with people. That's my thought for the day. Is, I love it. Is to share, share your thoughts. So everybody has a little bit different thoughts and, and it's interesting to get their thoughts and, and I give them uh, our, my thoughts. and It's a nice sharing thing. It is. And you learn something new and, and you get more friendly with the, with the people when you share thoughts with them. Absolutely. It, it um, makes a closer uh, relationship and, and a friendship. And, you know, some people it's... Just like this some, very moment I'm sharing go. thoughts with you. Well, and yeah. You, I mean, some you, people it's, it's hard to get them to open up. 
you know so you well, gotta yeah, you gotta kind of you, you gotta kind of coach them right. but yeah, yeah you gotta ask them yeah hey what you thinking you yeah know, you see somebody all up. clammed up there you say hey what, what's on your <laughs> mind clammed up, you look yeah. like you're thinking about something what's <laughs> on your <laughs> mind <laughs> That's could, about it. And sometimes once you get them going, they don't stop. <laughs> you ever talk to people like I've that? I've had that experience too. <laughs> yeah, I like to do the talking. I don't want to listen to uh, anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a two-way street. <laughs> well, life is a glory, isn't it? It Bye, is. George. Beautiful day out here today. Yeah. Out here standing in the water, knee deep water. Without the no seams nibbling. I know, it's great. <laughs> this is a this is a great place to chat. And I love it out here. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're just offshore where you're normally sitting there. Yeah. But yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, it works out well. It looks very beautiful. I'm glad I walked out here and got you. But I gotta get rolling. Time is a it's getting late for me. It's a work day. I'll walk in with you. Are you are you gonna make it down to Jenny's birthday? And well, Sunday that's that's a couple of weeks away. So. Sunday the 29th. Yep, I'm gonna do my best. I should Good. be able to. Good, sure hope you can. I'm not. I'm, there's no way I can make it to that swim thing, but I'll be out. I'll be here for the birthday party. Yeah, we'll have a lot of yummy chow. Yummy chow. Yeah. What you gonna have? Well, that's a secret. A secret. You think Tom? You think Tom's gonna cook something for us? Yeah, he's gonna bring his Tom gas Blair. Grill. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna bring his own grill out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he does a great job. Ooh. What did he cook the last time? You oh, remember? He had boneless uh, chicken thighs, Ooh. and were they good? He put some sort of great barbecue sauce on them when he was doing them on the grill. Man. That was the Fourth of July. Man, they were delicious. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I was here. They we were up, we were on vacation. I saw the pictures. Yeah, they were Looked like fun. everybody was having a really good time. Yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> Boy, I hope I don't yeah. fall on my butt here walking yeah, backwards. The dredging, and it's okay on the sandbars, but sometimes there's big rocks. Oh, those rocks. rocks the rocks are just over behind your, me, yeah. Stub your toe on, which isn't much fun. But that's life. Yep, that's life in the fast lane. Gotta accept it and enjoy it. Not sweat the small things. Nope. <laughs> it's fun walking out here. Well, I saw you. You always go out to the end of that. Yeah, sandbar. I take a walk out on that sandbar out there all the time in the morning. I just look for shells and things out there. Anything, maybe some gold doubloons washing up. Yeah, you never know. It looks like it's getting pretty deep right there. I gotta stay in the shallow. I don't want to get my camera wet. Yeah. You got to drop off there. Don't get your pants wet. Well, I got my keys and stuff in my pocket. Electronic keys. Don't want to get them wet. I'm right on the edge of the drop off. <laughs> there you go. You can swim back. Well, I will see you later. This is the big tally ho. <laughs> God bless you, Roy. Bless you, Rob. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Thank you very much. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Another great sermon. Love it. Oh yeah, that's all right. It was great. Take care. Oh, our good friend Roy. God bless him. That was fun, huh? Standing out in the water. Well, it is time to wrap up this beach walk, I'm afraid. I gotta get back down to area one. I'm gonna keep rolling here as I walk down. <clears throat> Didn't see any new sea turtle nests this morning. There's our sandbars out here. What a beautiful sight, huh? No barge out here now. Isn't that great? I'm going to snap a quick photo. Bear with me. All right. The barge has been pulled offshore of the sandbar. It's way out there. Look at all the birds. See all the seagulls flying out to the little sandbar? And I think they're, those are our turns again. Let's go have a look and then, well, I just can't. I got to get going. I'd love to. That looks like, nope, those are our royal turns out there. 
I've got to get moving. We got things to do today. There's a really nice boat out there. The water is really clearing up here, really starting to look nice now that that dredging has stopped. Hallelujah. Nice and clear, look at that. Another one of our little snowy egrets. Beautiful out here. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Hope you enjoyed my beach walk. Every morning, it's a little something different every morning. Did see a really nice little calico crab, a leopard crab this morning. That was pretty cool. It was just a very peaceful, quiet morning, a quiet Monday morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like, and when you do, be sure to hit the share button. Beautiful morning here in paradise, that's for sure. The peaceful walk back. Ah, that's a shame. There's a boat getting towed back out there. Nice boat. Nice big boat being towed in. That's too bad. If you ever owned a boat, you know it's a lot of a lot of work maintaining a boat, a lot of money. It is one of the joys of owning a big boat. Sad. Hopefully it's nothing serious.
You see the lighter colored water out there? That's the sandbar out there. That's where you'll probably find some nice sand dollars, but they'll most likely all be alive, so you don't want you taking those home. And that's the barge way out there. They moved it way out. And it's not pumping. Not 100% sure if they're done with the dredging or not. Keeping our fingers crossed, hoping they are. This is area two that we're in now, or actually area three, I'm sorry. Area three. It's about the middle of the beach at Del Norwegians right here. Let me give you one last look around, then I'm gonna sign off. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great Monday. I hope I helped get your week off to a better start. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.